Welcome to our Sunday worship, speaking words of life in God's rest. Trials rise just to fall, and troubles will always come to us all. To us, they always seem big, but to God, they are small. Just trust God and know that they'll come and go. Nothing is too much that you're going through for God's supernatural touch. With faith in Jesus Christ, this race is already won. Stop relying on yourself. Trust and see that God has already provided everything you will need. Hey, everybody. Today we're talking about uh, keep, keeping our ground, preparing our ground, and maintaining the ground in our hearts to be good for the word of God. Last week we talked about the parable of the seed, about the bad ground and the good ground. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as heard the word and receive it and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. Mark 4.20. Okay, so today we're going to be, you know, having a discussion, a Bible discussion about how to prepare the ground in our life. Because like I said, I'm trying to build my faith. Okay? Amen? And we all should be trying to build our faith because for what we have coming in the future, we have to be we have to be rooted in the word. Okay? We have to be following the example of Jesus Christ by faith in order to win the victory. We have to believe the word like never before. So to prepare our hearts to be good ground for the word of God. First, we got to consider the season, okay? And then add the proper nutrients in the ground of our hearts. And we have to water it when needed, amen? And we have to add pestilence for bug and insect control. We should always make sure our heart is good ground for the word, always testing the ground in our hearts and other fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some 30 and some 60 and some 100. You know, this is saying that by faith, we are supposed to be following the word. When we are mature Christian, we're supposed to be pressing on and drawing closer to God and, and, and you know, uh, seeking him with all our hearts and it becomes less of us and more of him. That's all we should be living for is what was I created for, Father? What did you create, create me to do? In order to have any kind of faith or belief in what you are asking for, you must ask according to the will of God and his word. Uh, to know the will of the Father, you just go to the word concerning a matter to know what he says about it. And then you have to believe that the word of God was inspired by God, by the Holy Scriptures. All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness. 2 Timothy 3.16 You know, believing is our faith response to God. Faith is having good ground, standing on the word of God, trusting. You know, to trust somebody, you honor them. And to honor them, you come under obedience if you are truly following them. Father God has placed a banner of love over us, the word says. And he says we are the apple of his eye. Right? My son, 
Keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live, and my law as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Proverbs 7, 1 through 3. Amen. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord God. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. That's what the Lord has come, Lord Jesus came to do. He came to give us a future and a hope because everything here is cursed. I mean, the air is cursed. You know, we, we can't even breathe without being afraid, uh, uh, cautious about what we're breathing in. The, the, the ground is, is cursed. You know, everything is cursed here because of sin. And so that's why it's a bad place to be for everybody. But we have a place, we got a home that Jesus went to prepare for us. And he has prepared everything so that we would be with him. He came, wrapped himself in flesh, let himself be crucified. He said, I lay down my life. No man take it from me, but I laid it down. Now, this is the main point of the things we are saying. We have such a high priest who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens a minister of the sanctuary and of the truth tabernacle which the Lord erected and not man. Hebrews 8, 1 through 2. Oh, God is saying to us that we have such a high priest, a person that became, that loved us so much that he came and gave his life, walked the example. See, he walked this thing out for us so that we could follow. He walked it by faith to show us that we had to walk it by faith in him. And so that's what we're doing. We're preparing our heart today to be good ground. You know, the Lord uh, had said to me uh, through some people, and he was saying it through myself. He says, and he's saying it to you too. Listen, he wants to be our everything. So in trusting his word, it might seem like walking a tightrope. You might seem alone at times. You might feel sad at times. You might go through all kind of afflictions in your body at times. But you got to know that the word says he would never leave you. That he's there inside of you. The kingdom of God operating in the world through you in Jesus name you know you know God is saying in those times that are coming we're going to have to trust him and he said when we walk in that tight rope remember he will not fail us and we will not fall but we are going to have to remember to trust God remember this is only a test beloved people of God Whose report will you believe? The word says, is anything too hard for God? Adam and Eve doubted God and believed the devil. No shame. Don't believe the devil's lies now. We're free. His manipulation. He's trying to have us to come out of agreement with the father and under agreement with him. Which makes us miss what we've asked God for. It makes us miss the destiny. He's, the enemy is standing at the door of our destiny and trying to block us. And so when we go through these tests and trials, they came. He had to go get permission. Remember, he just can't come before the throne of God. He has to get permission. And so if he got the permission, then you, when you see the attack, or when you feel the attack, you go straight to the throne and you ask God to give you the victory. And you learn how to fight back in faith. Believe in the word, literally. You know what? I'm telling you, don't let no demons make you miss nothing 
God is playing for your destiny. You know, uh, he said, cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your righteous spirit. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly glory to God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majestic, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Jude 1, 24 through 25. Hallelujah. This is Jeremiah 32 and 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for God? I remember in the Bible tells me that Sarah laughed when the angels told Abraham that. You know, and they said the sun would be made laughter. But, you know, it was hard for her to believe. 90 years old and him 100. But the word of God came to pass. And now we have the privilege, the authority, and the honor from God of coming and going into the supernatural with our faith and pulling what we ask for into the natural concerning our situation. I'm going to trust God to completely heal me and confuse the doctor. See, he's done it before because I've had, I can't even tell you how many surgeries. I don't even want to burden you with that. But God, but God, he got me up when they said I wouldn't walk no more. And I surprised, my kidneys went out, boom, came right out the hospital. Because soon as he told me to get up out the bed, when they were coming to get me for dialysis, I took a walk with him. And he told me to pray for everybody else and trust him for me. And in about two to three hours, I was checking out that hospital with nothing being done. Because the power of God, the presence of God showed up because I was obedient and I was seeking answers. Because when I hear the word and I read it and I'm writing it on my heart, I got to know that it's true. It has to be working for me. And so I found that my faith is what turns the switch to the engine of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Okay. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtain a good testimony. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made from things which are visible. Hebrews 11, 1 through 3. Amen. And this is Deuteronomy 28 and 1. If you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that he commanded you today, the Lord God will set you on high above all nations. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. You got, that's why this is so important, preparing our heart and make it a good ground so that when the word comes forth, when we read the word, when we hear the word, the word can give fruit. It can multiply. Okay? Remember, we must prepare the soul. And it must be good ground for the word. You know, we can't afford to uh, mess up and play around in the game of life because we can't afford to lose our souls. You understand? Prayer for forgiveness in Jesus' name. I'm sorry. People are excited today. This word is good. It's feeding me. You understand? And I'm sharing it with you because I know that we're all going through something. See, I don't think it's strange the words say. My sisters and brothers, he said, all throughout the world are undergoing the same things. So I'm saying, let's walk this out together in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's ask the Lord into your life. Repeat after me. Lord, I've been living my life my own way. Now I want to live it your way. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. 
I believe that you died for my sins and rose from the dead. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. Lord, help me to be everything that you created me to be. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name, amen. Amen. Only what we do for the kingdom of heaven will count when we get to heaven. Amen. Jesus himself became our example to show us how to have victory by faith in him and in God's word. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give us peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, bye everybody. Have a good week.